Sorry, we're just having a chat. Yes. As you I'm do. I'm just going to mansplain something to you. We're going to mansplain yeah, something gonna say, to me. You know, Don't that... try not to do that. Okay. Yeah. All right then. Okay. What we're talking about? Okay. Oh yeah, loose women. Yeah. Uh, we have been known to talk a lot about our loved ones on here. Um, it's not something we like to do, is it, Stacey, really? It just happens. Mm. Naturally. You know, we try not what to, because it's not about you. What would you talk about if you, you didn't talk about us? I mean, there'd be very little exactly. to talk about, <laughs> would there, wouldn't there be? It, actually, it does yeah. fill up quite a few Yeah, they give us so much to discuss. Yes, yeah. you're because amazing. Because, see, women are so false with each other. It's always, oh, they love your <laughs> yeah. jumper, whatever. Really can't stand that jumper, whatever. They can't openly criticise the sisterhood. So... Right? They can't be seen to go against the sisterhood, so just kick the men. That's yeah. what it's about. No about kicking way! The men. That's, that's acceptable in today's society. Society. Ruth would tell me if she didn't like my jumper. I would. Definitely. Yeah, I just like go, I don't think it's really you, Stacey. I wouldn't go, oh, I don't really like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's not your, what you said to me. That's men's idea of women in a group, yeah. is that we can't mm. get on. But anyway, that's completely not what we were going to talk about, actually. <laughs> what I was going to say is we do talk about them quite a lot, and I did promise that they would be able to get their revenge today, OK? Nice. Yeah, so we are going to keep completely quiet. And yeah, you, you we're going to show face. you. We're going to show you a couple oh, you of clips what? of things that so we've talked much. about. <laughs> no, no, Stacey. Stacey, <laughs> come on. You know the rules. We did promise. We promised. Okay. And you're going to get the chance to watch the clip because you might Brilliant. not have seen it because obviously you don't watch oh, this all is the time. Feel like therapy, and you can, this is... yeah, you can have your say. Okay. Yeah, let's so do this. The first clip is for you. So uh, back in February, we asked the panel, "What are your weird turn-ons?" And this is what Stacey said. When Joe puts his um, washing in the basket, not <laughs> next basket, um, yeah, I'm in love with him. <laughs> I really am. I'm genuinely so, like, he's really yeah. thought about me there. So basically, <laughs> boy, basically, boys, pick your pants up and you don't know what could happen. <laughs> Uh, so you know what? So the thing was, right? She played this card for most of the year this year, and I and I really bought into the fact that I thought I was turning you on. In the reality, is she just said? I love him. No, no, you just said that you find it sexy when I do housework, and then she goes to me, oh, oh, clean the windows, clean the windows, let me feel you. I genuinely love him. And in my love head, it. the first sort of three or four times, I was like, oh my god, I must be doing this really yeah. good. Is it something that I'm doing? Like dark coat or, man. Or should I bite my lip? <laughs> In the end, I realised it was just to get me through housework. So, yeah. You, <laughs> no, I do genuinely don't already get a kick out of it. All of the things I do to try and turn you on, and you're turned on by me putting stuff in the washing machine. Yes, I, I'm sorry, but for me, that part starts right from the beginning of the day. If, if you've put the washing in the basket, if you've cleaned the windows, it's like a build up. That's like foreplay for me, you know? Like some people like to be kissed and cuddled. I just want to see you putting stuff away. I think a lot of women, no, but honestly, Joe, you're looking bemused, I think a lot of women would agree that it I has to it. start all day. There is the build-up. Like, if you've been... Hold up, right. If I was putting the washing away and then said... And she was like, oh, that's really turning me on. I went, all right, let's stop. Let's go upstairs. She'll go, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Finish off what you're doing first. Make sure you do the tidying up before we have our time. So I know for a fact she's only doing this because she wants me to do more around the house. Not that I don't do enough as it is, Eamon. You know what it's like for us? Non-stop. Yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting. Sorry, I've just got to get my little file in out. Sounds sick to me, <laughs> so it does, Joe. It put me under so much pressure if that yeah. was going on in my life. Yeah. It sounds weird. It weird. Does. But can I just say, you always put your pants in the laundry basket. You're very clean. Well, where else would I put well, them? Well, some men leave them on the floor. I don't leave mine on the floor. I beg your pardon. Anyway. I don't wear them. It's in... <laughs> 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 Too much information. <laughs> Maybe, but it's interesting you mentioned housework, OK, because this clip is for my husband now. So this was in May, so this is during the very first lockdown, OK, yeah, the yeah. height of lockdown. Yeah. And we were discussing that a lot of women said they felt like they'd kind of reverted to having to be some 1950s housewife doing everything around the home. Which you wouldn't revert, because home. you do do everything. Oh, he's always oh, he's talking me now. Well, look at the clip. But you are the look perfect. Wait a minute. Can I just say you are the also perfect? Kind of angry housework now. So yes. when Eamon, I call him, <laughs> sitting in his pontificating chair. So he's got a chair and he's always chatting to someone in it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Tells me it's work all the time. <laughs> and the other day, I was literally, I was mopping the hallway and I was going like bang against the door, <laughs> pretending I hadn't seen that he was on the phone. <clears throat> bang. <laughs> he was glaring. I went, oh, sorry. You're chatting again. <laughs> bang. <laughs> Remember that. Did you get it out of your system? <laughs> well, we do get things out of our system on so here, what is actually. Your, what is your anger, then? Because we, were all, we all came in to work, or some of us were from home and things, and going, oh, my God, I literally am spending my whole day cleaning, shopping or cooking, because 
the men in our lives weren't doing a lot of it. And it wasn't so what just was me. I doing? Was I doing nothing? You were in your pontificating chair, as I call it, on, I don't know what you Running were Running the household. <laughs> <laughs> Running our lives. Running yeah. the household. Is that what you were doing? That's exactly what I'm doing. So, darling, who, who do you think organises everything around the house? Like we do all... organise quite a lot. Yes, I do. Yes. Exactly. Do you think but, it just magically gets done? But in lockdown, there done? wasn't much to organise, was there? There was lots nothing to organise. There was emergency situations to organise. But you were doing <laughs> housework because you are... A domestic goddess. You are an absolute domestic goddess. And to say you're a 1950s housewife like some sort of insult, that is the most amazing thing. You do that as well as being a professional. You are amazing. I am a puny, worthless individual, <laughs> as you point out, who obviously does nothing, has no skill, Simply, ability, talent to be or empathy towards what you do. So there you are. I just sit <laughs> in my armchair what a lovely pontificating. Answer. And you're like brilliant. That. Well, the truth was, she was so angst-ridden with the whole coronavirus thing, watching every news bulletin, listening to everything. That was the way, darling, that you were releasing your energy. Oh, so you were just letting me cope with my... I was, it was oh, like therapeutic. Right. It was, therapeutic. And I realised it was like medicine. It's yeah. like, I'll her. just let her yeah, get you, on with and that. And you were very good at it. OK. Very good. Right, so clip five. <laughs> Um, this is the last clip, and this is a festive throwback to Christmas past. This was 2009. Do you have a lot up against the wall and things? We do. <laughs> and you know I mean? We do. And do some, you? Sometimes not gently. Really? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, you've got to keep the spicy. He's 50 now, you know, and I'm 50 next year, so you've got to, yeah, you've got to keep it spiced up. That's, that's oh. fantastic. Do you know I'm seeing him in a whole different... <laughs> <meeting. laughs> oh, I, did, I couldn't hear any of that. Hear me what now. was that? <laughs> what was that about? I like her anyway. Who's she? <laughs> we were out with her. Yeah, she's so we're gorgeous. Ten years on, ten years on. A, you didn't realise that was me. You went, oh, she's nice. Who's that? I'm like me. And we're ten years on, and you now can't hear. He's going, what's she saying? I can't hear what she's saying. Uh, what did she say? I said that I like Christmas and I push you up against the wall under the mistletoe because oh. we like to have a Christmas High times kiss. change. There <laughs> <laughs> you are. Put that brown wig on again. <laughs> that was good. Would that spice up your Christmas for you? Spice up your Christmas. There you are. Very good. Did you enjoy having your say? Little fight back I, I did. Uh, to be fair, it wasn't long enough. I think we need a whole show just yeah. to get in our... Yeah. I'll say. Yeah, um, well, yeah. I feel good. We'll feel get good. you back. We'll Joe, get you who's back. interested in our grievances? Exactly. Who's interested in what we have to say? Oh, exactly. We're, Honestly, just, we're useless. So that is hard we're useless. To... We can't organise Christmas. We no. can't look after the kids. Okay. Yeah. While he's moaning oh, on, um, 